What's up guys? You know who I am. I don't know who you are, but in case I do know who you are. Hi, how are you doing? I'm at the uh, beautiful Los Angeles River right now. Well, it's semi-beautiful. Usually there's trash floating around, but I got picked a lucky day today, I guess. And um, I have this 12-volt Harbor Freight pump here that I've got my battery connected up to. Yes, because I'm like a crazy person. I'm right in the middle of the river. And people are walking by the path up top and they're wondering what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, I just wanted to give this pump a good test. And instead of wasting water at home, I thought I would just come out here and actually use water that's already being wasted anyway. So, got the hose in there. It has the inlet hose. And I got 12, uh, the pump right here. This is the Harbor Freight Pacific Hydro Star. Uh, 100, uh, I think it's around 300 watts, something like that. Um, 300 watt, 300 gallon per hour um, utility pump. This operates 12 off of 12 volts, and I think it draws around maybe 10 amps, something like that. I haven't actually looked at the voltage, uh, the amperage yet. I haven't checked it on my power supply at home. But I just wanted to give a, a good test run of it. I just got this about yesterday, like yesterday around, let's say, 11 o'clock. And it was the black. It was they're having a Black Friday sale, so I got this pretty cheap. I got this around like 30, 30 something dollars, and that wasn't including a 20% uh, coupon, which I also added to this. So I got it for around 20, 20. I don't remember how, many, how much I got it for. I have the I have the receipt. I just don't have it with me. But I'm just gonna give it a little buzz here and see how much water it can suck up. Well, you can, I'll give you an example of the flow. Now, this this pump will totally crap its pants if it's run dry. So, if it doesn't get start sucking water within a couple, a couple seconds, I'm going to shut it off. So. It actually was pretty fast. Well, there's the kind of flow I got out of this thing. It was quite a lot of water. And it's very, very quiet. Like, it's amazingly quiet. You can see the kind of flow I got going on there. Very cool. I'm actually, like, really satisfied with that. And this thing is supposedly able to lift around 30 feet. Combined, so... If I were to have a hose going from into the water, maybe about 10 feet up, and then having a hose at the top, I'd still be able to pump water at the top. But I don't have a long enough hose, so this is all I'm going to do for right now. But that's very cool, though. And I like how it's so quiet, too. And that flow is kind of impressive. It's a lot of water coming out of that. Uh, well, I'll probably have a, a, a full review out soon for the entire pump itself, but I just thought I'd give you a little, uh, a little video showing it running. Now, uh, the flow out of this is a little strange. It's not flowing out, like, straight. It does have a bit of, like, a, a spiral to it when it comes out of the hose. Which is kind of weird, because it is a vein pump, so there's no... There's no, uh, what's the word, impeller rotating inside of it. Well, there's an impeller, but it's, it's a series of veins, almost like a, um, a vein vacuum pump. This actually isn't, I want to turn this off for a second, you actually can hear me. This isn't like a, um, like a regular flexible impeller pump. This is actually slightly different than that. And like a flexible impeller pump, it's like a rubber impeller that actually has like a cam at the top that flexes around so like there's actually little grooves in the impeller and all the cam does is it makes it squeeze and contract well it makes yeah it makes it contract and relax contract and relax and that in a sense pumps the water and it also is when it's rotating so when it gets to the top it will squeeze out the water and say this is the inlet hose and this is the the uh 
no, this say this is the inlet hose, this is the output hose. It will go around, contract, squeeze all the water out of that section into the outlet. And when it comes around to the inlet, it'll relax and take in that water and then complete the cycle again. This is sort of like that. This is sort of the same thing. It works in that same principle, but it doesn't have the same impeller. Like I probably could replace this impeller that's in there with an actual flexible impeller pump uh, impeller. But there's the pump itself. It's not too heavy. In fact, it's actually very portable and very light. And I actually would wouldn't mind actually keeping it in that cart that I have up there. You probably could barely see. There's my bike right there. I wouldn't actually mind keeping it in the cart just for an emergency something like that. I don't know what I would actually use it for, but it'd be, you know, it'd be just great to have. Um, this is going to be my new rain barrel pump because the rain barrel pump that I have now is a 12 volt bilge pump, centrifugal, and it doesn't really like to operate, obviously, unless you have a check valve in line with the intake hose. So you actually have the water still in the hose in order for it to actually start pumping. And I don't use the rain barrel very often because I like to conserve the water that's in it. So when it drains, I mean, when the um, when the hose has no water in it, I really don't like to try to go back and suck on the end of the hose and try to prime it again. So this is kind of nice because it's self-priming. Huh. Where's the inlet hose? It's just some regular vinyl vinyl hose with the. Um, the nylon reinforcement stranding in it and then right here I've got a piece of garden hose that's just been cut off and it's over there and this is actually the other end of the garden hose this is a very fancy uh, aluminum uh, female end for the uh, hose it actually was off this but I cut it off at different points just so I could continue the hose on but then I was like you know screw it and I cut this off because it was starting to leak but I still have the end of this. I gotta connect it. I gotta get like a barb or something like that and make the hose a lot longer. But that's for that's for some other time. But uh, yeah, pretty impressed. No, oh, kind of sucking air a bit though. Ah, I got my finger. There you go. Quite a thirsty little beast. It moves a lot of water, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I am absolutely impressed with it. If you need a portable pump, go ahead and pick this up, Harbor Freight. Well worth the money. And, um, yeah, not too bad of an investment. I'm actually glad I bought this. And you surely will be too if you need a pump. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe. And, uh, stay awesome.